the area of the triangle formed by the lines 5x plus 7y is equal to 35 and 4x plus 3y is equal to 12 and the x axis is dash. Okay. So, I have the, what is the first line? I have 5x plus 7y is equal to 35 and they are saying that see these lines are basically passing through the x axis right and that is how we are forming a triangle like this right. So, one side is one line, the other side is the other line and the third side is your x axis itself right. So, uh, first I am going to find out these two points right where these two lines are going to pass the x axis. So, how do I find that out? See my first line is 5x plus 7y is equal to 35. So, if I put y is equal to 0 what will I get 5x is equal to 35 or x is equal to 7 right. So, when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 7. Similarly, let us look at the next line 4x plus 3y that is equal to 12. Again, at which point will this line pass through the x axis? If I put y is equal to 0, I will get 4x is equal to 12 or I can say x is equal to 3. So, this is our second line, okay. This is our second line and this is our first line. So, the first line passes the x axis at 7, 0 and the second line passes the x axis at where does it pass 3 comma 0 and they are meeting at some point see it, this meeting point necessarily need not be the y axis I have just drawn it like that might be they meet in the second quadrant or in the first quadrant we are not sure of that let us find that try to find that out also. So, I have two lines here right 5x plus 7y that is equal to 35 and 4x plus 3y that is equal to 12. So, when I solve these two equations the value of x and y that I get will be the point where these two lines meet. So, how can I solve this? I can multiply this by 4 and this by 5 and I will get 20x plus 28y that is equal to uh, 35 into 4 that is 140 and 20x plus 15y that is equal to 60. So, when I solve I get 28 minus uh, 15 that is 13 y is equal to 80 or y is equal to 80 by 13 and x is equal to minus 21 by 13. So, actually these two lines where do they meet? Let me just redraw it now to scale. So, they will meet somewhere in the second quadrant right because the x value is negative. So, this is the point where both the lines meet and they meet at minus 21 by 13 and 80 by 13 yes. So, this is the point where the two lines meet. So, this is the triangle that we are forming yes this is the triangle that we have formed. Now, you have to find the area of this triangle. What is the formula to find the area of this triangle? If I take this uh, triangle let us take it as A, B and C okay where this coordinate is nothing but x1, y1 this is x2, y2 and this is x3, y3. So, what is the area of the triangle? Area of the triangle ABC is nothing but half of x1, y2 minus x2, y1 plus x2, y3 minus x3, y2 plus x3, y1 minus x1, y3. So, put in these values here. So, what will you get? You will get half of, see y2 is 0, correct? So, you will have half of 0 minus what is x2? x2 is nothing but 3, 3 into 80 by 13. Again, what is y2? y2 is 0 plus you have y1. What is y1? Uh, y1 is nothing but uh, 80 by 13 into 7, y3 again 0. 0. So, you will get this as 1 by 2 into 320 by 13 or that is equal to 160 by 13. So, which is the correct answer? Your correct answer is going to be option 4, 160 by 13. If P, Q and R be the vertices of a triangle, then which of the following is not a point contained in the triangle? So, you have a triangle here P, Q and R. So, let us try to represent these points uh, in a coordinate system. So, this is your x axis and this is your y axis. So, I have a point 2, 3 which will somewhere be here. Then I have 4 and minus 2. So, that is going to be here. Yes. So, and I have 6 and 7. So, this is going to be 4 right and this is going to be 2. Uh, then I have 5, 
6. So, here I have 3, uh, 1, 0. Okay. Similarly, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. So, uh, this is one point, this is one point, which is the third point? 6 and 7. So, x axis is 6 and y axis is 7, which will be somewhere here. Right? Now, what is the question? Which of the following is not contained in the triangle? See, now just look at the options that is given. You have 4, 3. Obviously, that most likely will come inside the triangle. So, that cannot be your answer. 3, 3. Again, 3, 3 can also come inside your triangle only. So, that also will not be your answer. 4, 2. Again, that will also come inside the triangle. So, not your answer. 6, 1. This seems to be coming out of the triangle. You can just draw a rough diagram and cross check with the options. So, by looking at the diagram itself, you know that your answer is going to be 6, 1. That is option 4.